What is going on everybody and welcome to part 23 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're going to be filling out our player panel with just some information about the players such as their name, their balance, their EXP, and also their current level. So let's go ahead and get started with this. In order to actually do this, we need to do player panel and we want to give this a paint function. So player panel dot paint. And set this equal to a function with no arguments. And just like any function, we want to go ahead and end it. Now in here, we're going to be working a lot with the surface. So we need to first initialize some stuff here, such as surface dot set draw color. And we're going to set this equal to the same color that we have up here, which is just 50, 50, 50, 255. Next up, we want to go ahead and draw a rectangle to cover this whole entire panel. So surface dot draw rect. And this will be at the top left corner, so 0, 0. And we want to go ahead and make it the width and the height of the player panel. So we need player panel colon get wide for the width. And then player panel colon get tall for the height. Once that is done, let's go ahead and set the text color surface dot set text color and we're going to set this to a full on white so 255 all across the board next up we can actually get into the little portions that we need to add to this such as the player name and for the player name we're going to create our own font and we do this by doing surface dot create font and the first argument it takes is just a name for the font. And I'm just going to call this header font. Then after that, we need to separate with a comma. And then we need a table of values. So we want an opening and closing curly brace. Now inside of this, we go ahead and put in all of the different parameters that we want to set. Such as the font, which I want to set equal to default. This will just set the font equal to the default font. Next up, we need another comma just to separate them. We want a font size so size equal to 30 and then finally we want to have the weight which is just how bold it's going to be and I'm going to set this equal to 5000 and that'll give us a pretty decent amount of bolding next up we want to go ahead and set the font to this header font that we just created so surface dot set font to the name of the font in this case header font Next up, we want the position for the text, so surface dot set text pause, and we're going to set this equal to five from the left and zero from the top. Last up for the player name, we want to go ahead and actually draw some text on the screen at this position that we just set. So surface dot draw text local player colon get name. So if we save that and actually go ahead and test this out by going to the F4 menu, clicking on player, you can see that we have the player name with a equally looking padding on both the top and the left. Next up, let's go ahead and do the player EXP and the player level. So player EXP and level. Now with this one, we want to go ahead and first get the EXP to level. So we, let's just create ourselves a variable, local EXP to level. And set this equal to the local player, colon, get NWint. And we want to get the player's current level. And whatever that is, we want to multiply it by 100. And then times it. Oops. Then times it by 2. Once that is done, since we changed the font to this header font, we want to go ahead and change it back to the default font that we were using before by doing surface.setFontDefault. And now under this, we need to set the text position. So surface.setTextPosition. And we'll set the text position to about 8 and 35. And we want to go ahead and draw the text now. So surface dot draw some text. And the first thing we need is the level. And a space after that. And we want to concatenate onto that the local player. Colon get nwint. And we want to get their player level network integer. And then let's 
go ahead and do another draw text surface dot draw text and this will be the exp but first we want to do another escape secret which is backslash t that'll create a tab for us and then we want to do exp followed by another space and then we want to concatenate onto that the local player colon get nwint and we want to get the player exp and after that we want to concatenate a forward facing slash and then the exp to level so if we save that one now go into game again if we go here you can see that we now have that level and also the exp followed by the exp to level which is just the same thing we have down here just now situated within our player tab or player panel next up we just want to go ahead and add the balance to this and then we can finish up so another comment just to show what's going on balance we want to set the text position for this one we no longer need to set the font because it's still set to the default so we want to set text pause to 855 there we go and then we want to draw the text surface dot draw text and this will just be the balance then concatenate onto that the local player colon get nwint and then we want to grab the player money so if we save that go back into game here press f4 again go to the player section and you can see that we have our name as the header of it the level in the exp and then finally the balance so that is going to be the first step in filling out this player panel with information and we, like I said, we're still going to be filling this out with other stuff, such as the ability to change the player loadout from this screen. And that right there is going to conclude part 23 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.